Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1070. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1069 to 1071, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have some answers in a column. And we need to display a label that shows I found four yeses out of 12 total answers, three no's out of 12 total answers, and five not sure's out of 12 total answers. Now we're going to have to do the 4 and the 12 separately with two different functions. And we want this as text, not as like a fraction. So the first thing is we'll use the COUNTIF function. Now COUNTIF is great because it won't count all the items. It can count just some of them. And in our case, we want yes, and then no, and then not sure. So in the range, I highlight the whole column. And I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock it with the dollar signs, because as I copy down, I don't want that to move relatively comma, and then the criteria, hey, for this cell I'm counting just yes. And that's a relative cell reference. Close parentheses, Control Enter. Double click and send it down. I go to the last cell and I can see, sure enough, it's counting the not sure. There are five of them. All right, now I'm going to go back up here and hit F2. Now this is a label. And I need to join a slash and then another function to count them all. The join symbol is Shift 7, the ampersand. Then in double quotes, I need to put slash double quotes. All right, that's a little bit of text. Anytime you have text in the form, you've got to put it in double quotes. And then join it for the third item. Now we count you, we can't use count because count counts numbers, but count uh counts not empty cells. And for text, that's perfect. F4 to lock that, and boom. That'll give us 12 in every cell. Double click and send it down. Now, if you did want the number instead of a label like that, then of course, I'm going to copy this, Control C, and write in the cell right over here. We would not use the join symbol. Right? All we would do is use the math operator division to take the count if and divide by the count on, and we would get our uh, decimals. The only problem with trying to use custom number formatting to show this as a fraction is we may not know how many uh, items there are. We didn't, wouldn't know what the denominator would be. And as I've discussed in other videos about fractional number formatting, uh, 4 divided by 12 would be reduced. So we're going to leave it as this for our label. Those can be numbers. Now, of course, if you had a total at the bottom, whoops, Control C to copy, Control V, then I would not need to run the counter in every cell. Since I have the total down here, I simply click in F4 to lock that and copy that down, right? And so that would be the counter down there. All right, um, counting just some items out of a total number of items and showing a label like 4 twelfths. All right, we'll see you next video.